Hey all, this is part 11, and we're going to be removing an element in general. So we did removing uh, an element from the back of an array, we did removing an element from the front of an array, and now we want to consider the idea that we're going to remove an element from some generic index. Again, we're going to be using splice, but as you'll notice, we're only going to be supplying two arguments to it, and that's on purpose. If you recall, the idea for splice is that the first argument is the index we want to start working at. The second argument is the number of elements we want to delete from that index, and from that index forward. And then the uh, third argument, if we pass one, and fourth and fifth, would be elements we want to insert into the array at the index in question. So if we're removing an element in general, we only need the first two arguments. We need to say the index we want to remove an element from, and the number of elements we want to remove, which is always going to be one for this example. If we wanted to remove two, the highlighted portion would be two, and so on and so forth. So let's have a look at our contextless example. So one, two, mistake, three. Clearly the mistake needs to be removed. So we start at index two, remove one element, and the resulting array looks like this. And so now let's talk about a list of lunch items that have been ordered. And there's going to be a rather obvious error in there. So our lunch items are turkey sandwich, falafel, processor speed, and gyro. Now, I wouldn't put it past some, like, you know, grizzled DevOps veteran to say, I want processor speed as my lunch, just to mess with whoever was getting the lunch orders. But let's consider that that's not the case, that he wanted, mm, I don't know, shrimp lo mein, and would be upset if you brought him back processor speed, whatever that is, at least in terms of whatever that is as a lunch item. I mean, obviously, the speed of a processor is the processor speed, but I don't know how you would eat that. Anyway, if we say lunch items dot splice, index of the item to be removed, which is two, because that's where processor speed is found, and then one for the number of items to delete, which will get rid of that one element there. So if we run this, we'll see that, <clears throat> excuse me, the list of lunch items is now at least more correct than it was. It might be the case that these are all completely incorrect, that somebody wanted a ham sandwich, um, well, something other than a falafel and a gyro, but for now, let's just consider that this is close enough. So we are going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, an array and an index, removes the element from the index of the array, and returns the array. Your function should use the splice method to remove the element from the input array at the given index, then return the array. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, remove an element in general. So let's grab our function, our function stub. And then we'll grab our test cases. And just real quick again for those following along, I'm hitting Command C on a Mac OS operating system to copy the code. I'm then hitting Control Tab to switch tabs. And then I'm hitting Command V to paste in the newly copied, uh, to, uh, copied text. Excellent. So remove an element from the array at the given index. As we just saw in the documentation, that's going to be array.splice, starting at the index given, and deleting one element. We're then going to return the array. So if we run this and we see 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now, it, try not to be bothered by the idea that there's no space in front of this or behind here and that these are single quotes versus double quotes, that's not really something that's important for us, at least in terms of the way the test cases work. So, let's copy our newly completed function, come back here, paste it in, run our tests, and we're in business. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.